Um, oh, man, do I have to talk to the old man again? Don't know. Oh. Yeah, okay, we see the structure began right at the ground. Oh, 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 oh. off there's um hyrule castle and that little um tower in the distance we've got a little wider shot here to the right far right we can see death mountain and you can see something right there it doesn't look part of the mountain it looks like it's moving right that is one of the divine beasts that is varudania you really can't see it right now see it's moving across the the lava flow there it's moving um, there's something over there on that mountain. And by the same token, there's something flying in the air over there. And that is Va Meadow. That is another one of the divine beasts that flies. And it's kind of a tricky way we get up there, but we can do it. Below us here, we see this structure. This is a shrine. This is the things where there's... there's, things there's how many are there? 120 shrines total. And uh, I've done them all several times. It's, uh, they're a lot of fun. Some are challenging, though. And we have all kinds of stuff. See, down here, this is actually Hyrule. We can't get down there yet. This is actually off the Great Plateau. There's another tower right there. There's the Dueling Peaks. There's actually a shrine way up top up here. And that's one of the first ones I try to get, because once you get up there, you can uh, paraglide uh, really far. But we don't have a paraglider yet. Just forget I say anything about that. That's a spoiler thing. Don't, don't even think about that right now. <clears throat> so, there is one of the shrines right there. I'll go ahead and light that up. There's also one right there. I'll light that up. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, edit pins, edit pins, edit pins. That is not... Uh, how do we remove a pin? Oh, delete pin, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So, let's get out of this right here. And there's also one down the way right there. I don't need to edit that one, because that's the first one we're going to do. But the first thing we have to do now is go talk to the old man. Um... Because he's going to be right down there waiting for us. So it's kind of a quick way to get down. Just kind of skip down. I've done this enough where I know what... Oh, whoop, no, no, no. no, I didn't need to do that. So let's go down. Almost the ground. And here's the oh! old man. tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another it's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly if you do not mind me asking did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower you can say you can be like i don't know or you can say i heard a voice <sighs> well now a voice you say and did you happen to recognize this voice and of course you didn't you could you kind of just got to give a non-response or you can tell the truth, but you don't recognize the voice. No. He goes, I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that uh, atrocity enshrouding the castle. That mm. is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching.
I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? You can say, I do, or I'm on response. But we do. I had a feeling you would say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, mm. if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. You could say, paraglider? Well, we all know what a paraglider is. Or we could say, hand it over. Oh, oh. certainly, why not? If there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Mm. Let me see now. How about a trade? How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Isolated plateau. Come, let me show you something. So now he's going to show us the shrine. There's also some enemies over there with a chest that I want. Maybe we can do something about that. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? Yeah, I can see that. It began glowing the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. First, I'm going to start something over here. So, I can use my... I'm not supposed to have this. Um, and I bet if I was to equip this in that... Toast. Oh, no, actually, they're not. Oh, man, I wasted my bomb arrow. Okay, so let's sneak up on them here. They're dead now. Yeah, they're dead. I just didn't shoot them far enough. I shoot the, the arrow far enough far enough before. Um, yeah, I wish I could bust those things up. Yeah, I can't. Oh, well. Let's see what kind of weapons they have. Boko, bow. Okay. Yeah, I got another shield. Okay, I can cook some stuff here, though. I might not get all of them done this time. Let's see what's in this chest. Oh, another traveler sword. Rock on. I'll take it. Okay. So that's that. Let's go over here and see what we got. Some goodies. A little more arrows. I'll take them. Boko Bo. Boy, man, we're rocking and rolling here. Okay. Good loot. Good loot. Especially at this point in the game. Uh, let's go over and cook some stuff. So I'm going to show you cooking. Hmm, okay. Just looking around. Us. I'm trying to remember things as we, as we go. All this stuff's starting to come back to me. Uh, slowly but surely. Um, I'm going to get... Okay, I'm going to cook both of these things. Okay, that's all you're ever going to want. I should probably just cook one fish, um, but, okay, let me just cook one fish and see what, I, I think I'd probably get two hearts, which is probably all I really need, because I'm never going to, if you need three hearts, you're going to be dead anyway, so I only got three right now. Yeah. Okay, that'd be fun. Okay, let's do that. Okay, 
Okay, so... You'll notice here, this is metal. There's a chest right there in the water. It's metal. How are we going to get that? Um, there's actually some, another chest right there. There's also some fish in there. Rock and roll. Let me get them later. But there is also a chest right here, and this says... This says EX. This is part of the DLC pack. This wasn't originally in the game. And this gives you a ruby. Um, these are precious stones that you can sell them uh, for, my, for ru rupees. Which is the currency in the game. So let's go in this um, shrine here and see what's going on. Travel gate registered to map. This means you can fast travel here. If you're somewhere else on the map and you say, well, I, I want to go back to this spot right here. You can hit that spot and click teleport. Or fast, I can't remember if it's fast travel or teleport. And you will travel to that spot right there from anywhere on the map, wherever you are. And there'll be these are going to be all over the map. Just a way to quicken the game up. Run everywhere. So now this will take us down underground. I don't know how far, but probably quite a ways. To an area that we are going to um, gain our first Sheikah Slate ability. This is typically the first shrine you ever do. You don't, have to, you don't have to do them in this order, but it's just the one that's closest when you talk to the old man when you get the, the quest to get them all done. This is just adding information to your Chica Slate. It's like downloading an update. Magnesis. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto a metallic object using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis ruin. Objects held in the magnesis, a magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. through the, the shrine here. There will be enemies. Okay, you'll notice one of these blocks is metal. Um, I don't know if there's anything else around here. There's also another one right here. Yeah. So let's grab... I don't want to miss anything here. Okay, so I think there might be an enemy on this other side here. Let's do this right here. Let's do this right here. Oh, you see, I'm, you can just bust him on that. So, just gonna this and drop this. Okay, so you can crawl over here. I think that's the only enemy. A couple agent screws here. There's a chest right there. And of course, it's a metal chest, so you can grab it. Um, you can walk across this right here, but you'll need it to get the other one. I mean, there's more than, usually more than one way to do anything in this game. You uh, just go in there and climb up, but I want to do it the easy way. I can't what you get here. Good. 
I'm gonna try with bow, you get another one. That's good. I'll take it. So. And this is what what you see when you're done with the shrine. Okay, we've come through there, we did the magnesis. And this is the end of the shrine right here. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. So every every four Spirit Orbs you get, you can trade it in to get an increase in your stamina or an increase in your hearts. So... Now you see you have one spirit orb, one Korok seed, and one shrine completed. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click the profile picture in the upper left hand corner to subscribe and join Team Mookie. Check out our other playlist videos. I'll see you soon.